Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk and welcome to another live broadcast. In this live broadcast, I'm going to answer the question, how does a three-chamber septic tank work? That's a very, very good question. Before I go any further, just let me show you this. If you want more, if you want more free help and free advice that's right it's free i do these broadcasts to give you free help and advice don't want anything off you right all you need to do is go to look at this septic tank tv all right how about that septic tank tv if you want to see more of me go to septic tank tv now where's my board rubber gone there we go all right so let's get on with this then how does a three chamber septic tank work well let me show you all right so let me pretend that this is the grass okay and this is your septic tank now have i got enough room on there yeah all right so let me just get this to make a little hole here and a little hole here and you'll see why all right so this is your septic tank and this is your inlet pipe and that is your outlet pipe so that goes to so that goes to soak away. Well, that goes to soak away, and this is from that's from the house. Okay. So let me put the three chambers in here. So all right, that's one. And two. And in here as well, from the ones that I've seen, actually, so you have one there, and you have one there. All right, okay, so if you're wondering what these are, these are, so if I actually, oops, I actually put that there like so. So that's an inner wall, these are the chambers, these are the inner partitions inside, and that there is a pipe. Okay, so this is basically how the septic tank and soak away work. Okay, in fact, what I've just done wrong there, if I just do that for a second, what I'm going to do, you'll see why I've done that because I've got my calculations wrong there. That would be, uh, that would be there, like so. That's better. That's better. And then that would be there all right so there you go you have to forgive me i'm not the best artist in the world but <laughs> you got the point you can tell it's live okay so let me show you how this works okay so all the water comes in from the house and it fills up in the first chamber here until it gets to here and then it fills up again until it gets to here and then this will fill up again until it gets to there. There you go. All right, so this is all the wastewater. So basically, the reason for three chambers, in many septic tanks, many septic tanks have just got one cavity. Other septic tanks have got two chambers. Other septic tanks have got three chambers, as you've just seen. And the reason for this is because the more chambers you've got, the cleaner the water will become by the time it reaches the soak away pipe. Why? All right. So in wastewater, you've got fat, grease, sludge and poo and other debris. Right. And all this poo and debris will, first of all, all the sediment will build up on the bottom of the first chamber. All right. And over time. It'll reach out like that, okay? So the majority of debris will fall to the bottom in chamber one. All right, so we'll call that first chamber. All right, this is the second chamber. And this is the third chamber, there we go. Okay, so then by the time the wastewater, because this pipe here, this pipe here acts like a baffle, so it would be like a T-piece like that, okay? So that's what they look like. 
I just forgot to draw that on thing, okay? And so here you'll have the same. I can't. All right, so that makes sense now, doesn't it? So the poo and the wee that floats on there won't go in there because that's a TP, so it'll just float to the bottom there, okay? Uh, sink to the bottom, rather, okay? And so in chamber one, all the debris basically falls to the bottom. Chamber two, any debris or any fat or grease and sludge, because don't forget in the water, the suspended solids too. The heavy stuff, you will still get some buildup of debris and settlement from the suspended solids in the liquid in chamber two, all right? Then by the time it's got to chamber three, there'll be a fine, thin layer of sediment on the bottom of the third chamber. It's almost like wine. As you rack the wine, the wine <coughs> or the sediment in the first time you rack it, you get rid of it, it's about that thick. Then the second time you rack it, it goes down to that much. And then by the third time you rack it, there's just like a thin layer of sediment. And it's the same. So that's basically why you've got three chambers in a septic tank. So you get all the fat and the grease and the sludge coming into the first chamber. It deposits on there. Then as it racks or goes through the different processes, the sediment basically is sifted out, falls to the bottom. So by the time the water makes its way to the soak away, it's a lot cleaner and it's been filtered, I suppose, if you want to use that expression. So that's basically how a three chamber septic tank soak away works. Today in a septic tank, they don't have like one, two or three or four chambers. I wish they did to be honest, but what they have now, they have like filters. <clears throat> they don't have any of this middle bit. They'll have like a filter. They'll have tea pieces there on some kind of filter system on the outlet pipe there. Trouble with that is, is that <clears throat> every six months, every 12 months, you have to take the lid off the septic tank and wash the filter down. But anyway, I digress. The point is you can't beat the old fashioned brick built or concrete built or breeze block built three chamber septic tank systems. I love them. So there you go. Thank you very much for uh, watching this live broadcast today. As I said, I love giving people free help, free advice. If you want to see um, more of me, <laughs> my broadcast, just go to septic tank TV, or you can just go to septic tank.co.uk. Give me a ring. And I look forward to helping you and speaking to you, giving you free help and advice. And, uh, and there you go. So I'll speak to you soon.